Right. When someone collapses in public, bystanders are often afraid to perform CPR, even though it could save that person's life. This is really interesting. Now, researchers at the University of Florida think they've discovered why. And of course, we know CPR is so important. Mm -hmm. Vitally important if you see someone collapse mm -hmm. and minutes, you know, every minute counts. So this study sort of asked people why they wouldn't perform CPR if they saw someone collapse. And the number one reason was because they were worried that they might do more injury to the person mm -hmm. or do more harm. Also, that they thought their skills were inadequate, and some people were afraid to remove a female shirt or afraid to have contact with her breasts. Now, unfortunately, women are 27% less likely to receive bystander CPR wow. than men are, mm -hmm. which is a big difference. But now there's a company that has created something called a womanikin, which is a CPR dummy that comes with detachable fabric breasts so people can practice mm. giving CPR to a woman. Mm. And let it, me just reiterate... Yeah, we should clarify, you don't need to take a person's shirt off to do you CPR. You don't, you don't. If you see someone collapse, remember, the worst CPR is no CPR. Right. So so what you want to do is press hard and fast on the chest. If you're not skilled, you don't even have to do breaths. Go straight and to the chest alive. compressions. Stay alive. Stay alive. That's right. Yeah. And in that moment, no one's embarrassed about anything. Fast That's and right. hard. Yes. Right. Yes. Thanks, Dr. Dr. Marshall. Thank you.